Okay, so what we've uh, achieved so far is our um, new input or our new uh, addition of our fields inside our uh, database table. Uh, we've also um, disallowed the user to log in here um, if their account is not activated, meaning the um, activated row um, result is zero. And then we're going to die and then just exit for added security. And uh, what we basically need to do now is come back to our register um, script here. Uh, when the user is registered, we need to do a few more things to the database. And this is, like I said before, adding this field here, which is um, the random number that we're generating or random piece of text that we're generating. And this, uh, by default, is zero, but we're just going to stick a um, value of zero in there anyway. And this corresponds to, oh, let's check it, mm, let's find it. This corresponds to uh, random, so this here is the random, and activated is this here. So this is going to be a random number, and I'm just going to call this random. And up here, I'm going to generate this random number. So generate random number for uh, activation. Activation process. Process. I'm really bad at typing. I don't know. Okay, so random equals, and I'm just going to be using the random number function. You can obviously say random and like A, B, C, or you know you can generate some random letters from an array, um, whatever you're capable of. Uh, but I'm just going to take to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and up to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two. I think that's the same amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so this is generating a number between this value and between this value. And we're going to place this inside our database here. Uh, so, what I'm, I'm in fact going to do is I'm going to log out from this account, which we've successfully uh, done. Um, it is set to zero at the moment, bear in mind, so my account's not active. Uh, but what I'm in fact going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete this here. Okay, and what I'm going to do just to test this is I'm going to register a new user. Uh, my full name is Alex Garrett. My username is going to be Alex. My password is just going to be ABC and ABC. Um, I, actually, I think at the moment we've got, yeah, between 6 and 25 characters. So I'm going to choose Heden instead. And I'm going to cl click register. Okay, you've registered, return to login page. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is try and log in with that data. So Alex and Heden, click login, and surprise, surprise, your account is not active yet. So let's check our database for this newly entered um, um, value. Yep, so we've got um, Alex Garrett, Alex, that's my encrypted password is Heden, date, then we've got a random number here and activated zero. So this is our random number. Now this is the key thing we're going to use. We're going to send this by email um, to um, a specified email address. At the moment I'm not taking the user's email address so we're going to need to modify that in there. And to do this I'm going to need to come into the, is this the register page? Yeah. Okay so let's go for um, username, password, password. Okay, so let's just create a new field here by copying this structure down. And I'm going to say email address or just email or something. And this is going to be uh, type text and the name is going to be email. Okay, so when we come into our register page, we've now got an email field here, um, which I'm going to use, say, alexheden at hotmail.com. Um, I've got my hotmail page um, up here, uh, ready to have a look at when the email eventually comes to me. Um, so we need to take this into account in our PHP script and also add it to the database. Um, so we are checking up here for our all our data. So I'm going to say email. Um, what I'm not going to do is waste time. So it's strip. In fact, we'll just leave it as it is. Um, what we're not going to do is waste time <coughs> with um, validating this, whether it's there or whether it's not, because I'll leave that up to you guys. This is just purely for uh, the registration tutorial and how to register, activate your account rather by email. So this is our dollar underscore post. Uh, you can also add the strip tags. Um, I'm just going to do this for for quickness. So we've got our dollar underscore post of our email address. Coming down here, we're going to need to stick it 
inside one of these values. So I'm just going to like plunk this on the end here. Um, and obviously, we don't have this field specified in our database. So I'm again going to choose the structure tab in PHP my admin, and I'm going to choose um, add one field. Let's say after password. Click go. And this is email. Obviously, we don't want it as an integer value. We want it as a varchar. I'm just going to say 30 characters maximum. And we can pretty much save this out. Like I said, it's up to you to do the um, PHP validation yourself. And we've got the email in here. Uh, so if, again, I go back and click browse, and I delete this here, and I come back and I re-register, so click register, uh, my full name, Alex, oh, Alex Garrett, uh, my username, my password, which is Heden, I'm going to repeat my password, and I'm going to stick in my email address, so alexheden at hotmail.com. Click in register. Okay, you have registered, return to login page. Um, again, our login won't work. You can see your account is not active yet. Uh, but when we come into our uh, database, click browse. Uh, we've seen this addition of, uh, where is it? Email. Ah, okay, yeah. Okay. My fault. Um, what we have actually done is I've stuck this on the end here, but not realized that I've put it after password. So I'm just going to bring this, shove it in there, add a extra commas in. Obviously, the input process of this is really important of... Um, matching them up to the uh, fields that you're entering. Uh, so let's try that again. Apologies for that. And let's delete this messed up one. And come back in here and register again. Let's do this quickly. Alex Garrett, Alex Heden as my password and my email address as normal. Clicking register. Everything's worked. Um, back into our database. We can see that uh, my email address is in there. Uh, the dates in there, the random number, and activated as not. And again, I'm not going to show you now because we're running out of time, but I won't be able to log in with this. So in the next part of the tutorial, what we're going to be doing is actually sending the email um, with this value in here. Um, I've run over a bit babbling in this video, but I want to make sure you guys get the best you can out of these videos. Okay, so I'll see you in the next part. Thank you.